Have you ever wondered about the life and reign of the man who was both a patron of the arts and the harbinger of decline for the Mughal Empire? Today, we delve into the intriguing tale of Muhammad Shah, the 13th Mughal Emperor, whose reign was a paradoxical blend of cultural flourishing and political decay. Born as Roshan Akhtar on August 7, 1702, in Ghazni Kabul Suba, Muhammad Shah was the progeny of Kujista Akhtar, the fourth son of Bahadur Shah I. His ascension to the throne occurred when he was merely 16 years old, overseen by the stern guidance of the Sayyid brothers of Barha. The reign of Muhammad Shah was a period of contrasts, marked by a vibrant cultural life on one hand and a rapid political decline on the other. His love for the arts, music and culture earned him the nickname Muhammad Shah Rangila, translating to Muhammad Shah the Colorful. His court echoed with the melodies of musical renditions and the empire witnessed a remarkable development in cultural and administrative facets. Despite his passion for arts and culture, Muhammad Shah's reign was marred by the irreversible decline of the Mughal Empire. The tipping point came in 1739 with Nader Shah's invasion of India and the subsequent sacking of Delhi. The shock and humiliation that ensued resonated not just within the Mughal Empire but also extended to foreign shores including the British. Yet, even amidst the political turmoil, Muhammad Shah's contributions to the cultural and artistic life of the empire remain significant. Known by his pen name Sadrang, he is also occasionally referred to as Bahadur Shah Rangila, paying homage to his grandfather Bahadur Shah I. In summary, the reign of Muhammad Shah was a time of cultural prosperity and political decline for the Mughal Empire. His patronage of the arts ushered in a cultural renaissance, painting the empire in vibrant hues. Yet his inability to halt the political decline signaled the beginning of the end for the Mughal Empire. Thus, Muhammad Shah's reign remains a fascinating study of contrasts, a testament to the duality of human nature and the inexorable march of history.